I'm in Dewey Humble, and what you see behind me, that giant red mound, that was a former mine here. The Environmental Protection Agency is trying to clean up this entire area as it's highly contaminated. They're looking for arsenic and lead. Towering over this town southeast of Prescott, an abandoned mine and smelter both closed more than 50 years ago. While the mine and the smelter was in operation for decades, there was contaminants that did metals and contaminants that did blow or smokestacks that did deposit in people's yards. While some surrounding properties with severe contamination were remediated in the past, the EPA is now out to test more than 300 properties. ABC 15 followed along this week. Working with the community to finish it. This is one of their sampling sites. This is what they do. Once they figure out where they want to dig using a GPS locator, then they take a decontaminated trowel. They're going to dig up about two inches of soil. That's then packaged and sent to a lab for testing. The goal of the sampling is to develop a cleanup designs for each property. This area was designated a Superfund site all the way back in 2008. Since then, there's been a lot of back and forth with the town, its residents, and the EPA. How did this happen? From his front porch, Bruce Woodhall questions what's carried by the winds even today. Make a mini orange tornado, then take a sharp left turn and head to that hillside. He's had the EPA test here years ago and again now. He, like others, are also tired of the timeline. How did we end up heading towards 20 years? We're in two decades of the EPA Superfund, $40 million and whatever it's been, to do what? The EPA says only half of the 300 landowners around here have given permission to test. What do you want to tell people that are wary of having the EPA step on their properties? It has taken some time, and we acknowledge that our Superfund process is this long process. We are at a critical juncture right now that we are here to collect additional information on residential properties so that we can move this cleanup forward. While residential cleanup continues, the EPA is also finalizing a master design to address the sources themselves, the former mine and smelter sites, moving the toxic materials to permanent containment areas, all the while controlling contaminated dust and water during that process. It's a project now estimated well over a hundred million dollars. Homeowners believe more should be done though in the meantime. That should have a tarp right now. The EPA wants to finish testing this year and move forward with larger cleanups next year. In Dewey Humboldt, Lillian Donahue, ABC 15, Arizona.